had to leave poor Sandy down there. I've already walked like a quarter mile. And you know, I didn't surf today, so this will be my exercise. This is my normal place where I uh, get some fruits and vegetables, especially if I miss the market, because the market closes sometimes half day. And uh, back over there, I showed you before, that's where I get the camote leaves. Jeepneys are running now again in San Fernando, although sometimes you have to wait a while because I think you're only allowed like 12 per jeepney. So like two jeepneys can come by and you know, they'll be full. I'm just waiting on Cell. She's found a uh, food store here. They sell some, uh, looks like some fried stuff here. Uh, price list. Fish ball, squid ball. Huh. Cheese, cheese sticks. They all got them on here on the side of the road. And I know if you're from the Philippines and you watch my vlog, this is really boring. But for the states, you know, um, this is uh, common. You can stop. We're just walking home, so we're just seeing what they got. Sal's looking through the ukai ukai, which is... It's um, clothing that's from usually the U.S. It can be the U.K. And they put them in big bundles and sell them in a big bag. And this is bulk. And then people buy these big bags of just random clothes and uh, put them out for sale. And a lot of them are like new. And some of them aren't. But I have two shirts, a couple shorts that I wear. And... Uh, Great stuff, we washed them up. Like if, if you come through here, you look, I think this is a polo right up here. Yeah, look at that. And uh, they got some nice clothes. I got some nice shorts here. Uh, got some, uh, oh, look at that. Got some Daisy Dukes, some ripped up back. Uh, all back here. Look at that. All hanging up. I got a rash guard that I use. It's great. I love it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can make it back to sell. She's over here. Hey there. Did you find something? What'd you discover? Oh, that's nice. What's the brand? Yeah. How much? Ten. Ten? That's nice. Yeah. So Sal's going through it. They got a bunch of jeans up here. Hey, Sal, do you need some bigger jeans? Why do you need bigger jeans? <laughs> Say that again? You're skinny? Yeah? Alright. Sal's been eating some rice. And she, uh, before she left, she had to wiggle into those jeans. But, uh, anyway. I'll just give you some everyday life here. It's kind of fun. I don't even have a gimbal or anything. I'm just holding it with my hand. What else does a retired person do but look through used clothing? This is the stuff I bought um, at the bakery. This one here. So I got these hamburger buns which are really good. And you got six of them for 20 pesos. It's like 40 cents. We got some uh, some meatballs. I don't know how much they were. French fries, big bag of French fries for 90 pesos. It's like uh, less than two bucks for this huge bag of French fries. And she fries them up and then she puts this cheese powder on it. 
Oh my god, so good. Did you need to get a vegetable? It's like a, you know, whenever you cross the highway here, it's like a real live game of Frogger. The only thing is, when you lose, you just lose like, you know, a credit or a, a life in Frogger. Here you really you <laughs> lose your life. <laughs> Surfer shorts? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop recording, see if those things might fit me. So I just wanted to add, so when the pandemic started, um, it was difficult to get into the market. You had to have all these passes. So a lot of people would opt out and just go to the vegetable stand on the highway or, you know, in the neighborhoods. This vegetable stand started out just like I'm serious like um, a little like four pieces of stick and a some you know I don't know like some leftover uh, tarp and that was it now it's like a full-on vegetable store they even have like electricity running out to a freezer they sell load and you know um, they got eggs they, they didn't have eggs before I mean they've really grown it's it's a full-on store on the side of the highway and that's what people are doing now you know to make money to make ends meet and uh, survive so that's kind of how it is here in the Philippines you start something up if it's working you just grow it and now they even in the back there they have that wine and uh, you know from like where you pick the grapes and everything so just a little bit of life here to show you and uh, it's a great place they got really great prices and I don't have to get up early and go to the market are you ready so she has that whole bag full of clothes is a hundred pesos it's like two bucks I got a pair of shorts and she got some other stuff we're gonna actually you want to cut through here and go home that way or you want to go no okay but you can cut cut through here, and there's a road back there, and uh, it goes to where Sal used to live. Okay, the march goes on. Okay, so if you look at where that awning is, crossing the highway, that's where you take a left to go down where, you know, where that car just turned in. That's where I live, down there, Montemar area, final option. But we're stopping to get a chicken. Look at those chickens. Chicky baby. Oh yeah. Nice. Two fifty per chicken. Alright. Um and they got some other stuff here. What do they got? Oh, what is that? Catfish? Yeah. They got a catfish. Fish on a stick. How much is a catfish? $1.20. Can you eat that? No. <laughs> this looks good. What is this? They got barbecue. There's fried chicken. But what you do is you pick your little barbecue out and then throw it there. And it'll be done in like five, ten minutes. And then you got barbecue on a stick. So we're just getting chicken? Yeah. Alright. I gotta pay for the chicken. Okay, so that's a whole cut up chicken. That was uh, 250 pesos. That's about the norm getting them on the streets. I've seen them as low as 240, uh, 245 is kind of average too. Especially to give you the sauce. You gotta have the sauce. So they give you some dipping sauce. Sal's making some rice and um, got this today. Check this out. <laughs> This is a musubi maker. 
you take this right here and first you lay your um, vlog when we make them but you lay your strip of seaweed down down on the bottom and then put that then you put a layer of rice in there and then this is there and, you, and you, you smush it down then you put your spam in there and then you pay, put another layer of rice and then you smush it and then it's all nice and smushed you have a sandwich rice spam rice take it off and then you wrap your seaweed around it like that and it's kind of cool we got this in Shopee today and they even put your name on it like I don't know if you can see that but, but it's like uh, huh, has both of our names on there it's uh, Mark Zell should have been Sell. It's a Marksel. But uh pretty cool, huh? Alright, that's it. Uh thanks for watching and uh this was just a everyday life in the day of well, you know, being a surfer living in San Juan La Union. Okay, so the day continues going back to get the car. It's so cool out today. It's like two o'clock and it feels like it's only good job blue now that tire belongs to you <laughs> we're walking to get the car just for exercise I have a bike I could ride and get it blue is walking us out and uh, I'm hoping it doesn't cost too much we'll see I had to get a new cam pulley which is 3,600 pesos it's like 70 bucks the old one was damaged that's why the uh, belts only lasted three months but uh I'm wearing gosh this stupid thing I'm wearing <laughs> the mask uh, and I just took it off because I want to vlog and you can't really hear well but I'm also wearing the ukai ukai and I'm hoping to get a little update on the building here show you where I used to live and maybe cell will be nice enough to hold this and I will demonstrate what 10 pesos strike a pose 10 pesos can buy you in the Philippines you can't even get a ball of rice for 10 pesos maybe a half a ball 10 pesos is 25 cents and I'm wearing it can you guess what it is? I know now you're thinking. And uh, I could get some risque comments below on that one. But all of my subscribers are just full of gentlemen and gentle ladies that have high moral standards and only leave the best comments. <laughs> anyway, this is where I used to live. Just a quick look. I love that red truck. I'm still saving for this truck. There's two cars. <laughs> and you get the, uh, the kids are out here playing. It's really cloudy and windy. So today, your Tagalog word of the day, hanging, which is wind. Right? This is an update, and no, it's not for rent, because I know I'll get a lot of people. Is it for rent? How much? Um, but this is the construction. This is like six months worth, and uh, they're getting really close. It's for their own use. They're going to live in there, so sorry. And I don't know how much it costs, but I do know they've been building it for, oh, I want to say six months now. Really nice construction, good quality work. They even have a cement mixer. <laughs> this was the route that Cell took, if you were ever watching a previous video. Hello. It's uh, 
if you go down here and take a left, that's uh, that's uh, Linda's place. She owns the Sorry Sorry store on the corner. Her daughters run it, and they uh, they're always there with cold beer ready to be bought and purchased. This is a famous place to be vlogged, all because of the world famous Philly in the Philippines went in here. It even got attention from another vlogger. But uh, they're, they're doing some more work. I believe a foreigner has moved in, or well, signed a lease, because the sign's no longer for lease. And they're doing their own fix up in there. I believe, let me see. I believe they're putting in some new tiles. And as I said before, it needed new. Yeah, look. I got new tiles. This is going to be the longest vlog. Oh, yeah, it looks nice now. That's what it needed. Really nice. And they're going to do the kitchen, too. And boy, that makes a whole big difference. Very nice. Hello. Did you do the bathroom too? Oh, the bathroom, huh? How you doing? Uh, chipping it up, huh? Yeah, the bathroom was really bad. Hey, looks good. Very nice. Yeah, good quality. So there's. Yeah. The San Juan Lion Yan vlog. Yeah. Hey, check out there. <laughs> okay, yeah, sir. If you need tile work, you get it from? Yes, sir. <laughs> Very nice work. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh, thanks. You can watch tonight. It'll be up tonight. What's the name of your. Uh, San Juan Lion vlog. San Juan Lion vlog, sir. Yeah, YouTube. Okay. Uh, tonight. Hello, hello, sir. Okay. I don't know what happened to my girlfriend. She's gone. Oh, there she is. She's over here. We're actually on a mission to get my car. And uh, everybody's out talking. It's looking nice. I like it. That's uh, okay. Looks good. Quality. When it when you get done, can I vlog it? When it's finished. Yeah? You can be a movie star. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So I'm not going to vlog walking all the way down there. But... Uh, I just wanted to do it now because once you get out on the highway, you got the usual whirl of trikes and bikes and, you know, care about chicken, goats, people, jeepneys, you name it. And they're all very loud. And I don't like to vlog on the road. It's good to pay attention. But what a great day for a walk. You know? I'm like really happy with this walk. It, it's seriously, I don't think it's, I know, I don't do Celsius. I mean, I do it because I live here, but I wanna say it's like outside. This is the coolest I've ever felt at midday, ever. It's cold. It, it's what? Cold. She says it's cold. I would say it's 68 degrees outside. Maybe 69. Don't go there with your comments. But uh, I would say 68 degrees. What's so funny about that? Nothing. <laughs> You're gonna make controversial comments on our channel here. So, I'm just reporting on the weather. I think you like that number. Really? Yeah. Ah, you heard it here first. That's because it's very good temperature. It's like room temperature it's good for walking and all that okay enough of that up here when you leave there is a little sorry sorry store over here and the funny thing is is i didn't know but they have wax surfboard wax oh i just felt a drop 
but it's closed. I wanted to see how much they wanted for their surfboard wax. All right, I'm getting out on the highway. I'll try to vlog uh, the transaction of getting my my uh, Space Gear van back, Sandy. All right, I am back at the Uka Uka store. Come a little closer and look at these. They fit perfect, you know? Yeah. And, uh, they're like a three quarter length, 10 pesos. They were back here full circle. Thank you very much. I love them. Very comfortable. That's it. So I know as you're walking around in the Philippines, you see rice on the side and you figure, okay, they're drying it. But you might wonder like, What's this all doing out here? You know, you got a nice sidewalk and just out there. And this is wood. Wood and uh, that's a coconut over here, right? And what they'll do is they dry it out real good and then uh, they put it in little bundles and sell them for cooking. It's uh, firewood for making fire and cooking. So when you see this, on the road, at least you kind of know. Some people don't know. I know, if you're from the Philippines, that's very boring. But, most of my viewership comes from the United States, Canada, UK, and uh, it's just really interesting. Some of the things you see, I'll just try to show you some different stuff. Haven't surfed. Well, I would have surfed today, but it's windy, so I don't think the conditions are good anywhere. And, uh, I like to surf when it's really not, there's no wind, it's very smooth. So this is what they replaced. This is the pulley. I'll tell you what, it's very heavy. But they were saying this uh, was sticking out too far, or in too far. I'm not really a car person, but if anybody knows, let me know. And uh, it seems to be working. It's running very smooth. It's not shaking. So we're going to pay the man and take off. Uh, that's it for the, uh, for the car part of the vlog. I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of car things, but this is why in your budget you should have an extra amount every month, like 5,000 pesos, just for things that come up. Because believe me, they will come up here in the Philippines. This is our acquired dog, Blue. We've saved up a bunch of rice and and uh, food for him. Anyway, this is what you do in the Philippines, so that way they he's can. Hungry. He's really hungry. Loves some pork bones. Welcome back to the San Juan La Union car video repair shop. <laughs> well, Mr. Space Gear finally threw a belt. It looks like it tore through a couple belts. So I'm trying to get it repaired. Uh, John Rev, Auto Supply and Car Care Service Center. It's right next to Junkie right there. I went in there to get some wood for my um, surfboard repair. And that was, uh, not surfboard repair, my surfboard rack. But we're going to take a look here. See, we got some pieces. I did get the new battery. And we've got a new head gasket. A new water pump. And now... 
This is a piece. It's pretty bad when one of these comes out. What do you think? So anyway, he's looking at it right now. He's got the belts in stock. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but um, if you need to get your belts replaced, it's in front of the Fury Gas San Juan station. And they got some uh, bikes for sale over here. This is a new thing. I got, I got my bike. And, uh, let's see. Wow. 1350. And it has, uh, it doesn't have Shimano shifters, but it does have the nice brake system back here. And for, you know, 1350, that's pretty good. Looks like they all have the, they're all about, oh, that one's like 8.5. Man, I wish I would have got that for, uh, for sale. Has the better brakes. So, anyway, that's what's going on. Take you through here. Surf rack still on there. He's under there doing his thing. <laughs> so, a little update here. This is the air conditioning belt that broke, and it just snapped. And then it kind of tore up this one in the process. And I told him just to replace all three since we're doing it. I tell you, I've been through it. <laughs> I just replaced these belts not too long ago. I don't know what it is about the Philippines. Maybe the heat? Um, he said it was misaligned. So hopefully he can get it on there and have it be nice and aligned this time. So, as I'm waiting for my car to get done, this guy pulls up and he's a fan repair guy. And check this out. He's got a chicken. Is that going to be dinner? <laughs> that poor guy doesn't know it, but he's dinner. And uh, look at this. You got a fans here. He can, if one of your fans breaks, he can replace it. And here. All kinds of couplings, motor covers, belts. It's really pretty cool. It's like a mobile fan repair guy that likes chicken for dinner. It's really uh, interesting. But anyway, he's got all kinds of fans hanging off the back. And uh, anyway, if you need something fixed, let me know. I'll send them over. Just a quick uh, voiceover here. Um, this guy parked across the street, another vendor, which sells a lot of things like plastic buckets, um, just random stuff, basically. And uh, then later the cops came and told him, you cannot park here, and he took off. Hey, thanks for watching. And um, my uh, vlog was just a little bit crazy and wasn't exactly in time sequence I wanted it, but I think you got the gist of it all. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll do a little better video editing in my next one.